motherfuckers? It's me, the Vertical Spy 17. Well, today I went to go see Cowboys and Indians. Sorry, Cowboys and Aliens. And I don't know what to say about it. It was awesome. I mean, sure, it's not the best movie ever. Yeah. I mean, I heard a few people did like Captain America. They actually gave it a lot of credit. And they enjoyed it. But I think people will enjoy this movie even more. Now, I want to say this. Do not, I repeat, do not see the Smurfs. I'm dead serious. Do not see the Smurfs. I saw all the ratings for it, I saw all the reviews for it. Okay, like one review, but you know, I understand one of the reviews, but you know, still. Don't watch the Smurfs. Save your money. Don't take your kids to go see the Smurfs. Take your kids to go see Cowboys and Aliens. Because this movie deserves your money, deserves your credit, it deserves everything. Okay, it may not be the best movie ever, yeah, I know. But still. Do not watch Smurfs. Watch this movie instead. <sighs> so basically, what can I say about this movie? Well, they pretty much gave us the old West and sci-fi. They managed to put them all together. So, after watching the movie, yeah, I'm dead serious. See this instead. So basically, the movie's about Daniel Craig, yes, I know, James Bond, and it's also about Harrison Ford, yes, in Indiana Jones, and do they do a good job? Well, yes, they do. They do a really good job at at their characters, their, their performances were really awesome. They were really fun to see, fun to watch. You know, they were fun to watch, people. And so was everybody else. I mean, in the theater I was at, they were laughing. They were laughing their freaking balls off of every single joke in the movie. Well, every single line, every single moment, they were laughing. It, yeah, it was really... All of those going on in the theater. And also, I enjoyed it. May not, be, like I said, may not be the best movie ever. But still, it still deserves your credit. So basically, the movie's about Daniel Craig. He's a, a I, don't know, I guess I might as well say it, an outlaw. Stealing gold. And the movie, he doesn't... Early in the movie, we he doesn't know who he is, what his name is, so it's up to him to find out who he is and what he can, what he needs to find out about what happened to his wife, or what happened, what well, basically what happened to him, because he doesn't know, because he wakes up one day he doesn't know who he is, or who who knows him or what he's done, basically he wants to find out who he really is in this movie. So it's kind of like the Born Identity meets the Old West meets sci-fi and all this other stuff. Yes, it's kind of like that kind of crammed together. And also, we have when when he goes to the town that well, he, uh, suddenly he finds a town that he goes to. He's yeah, he's wanted for a million a million dollars or yeah. Basically, he runs into Harrison Ford, and when he try when Harrison Ford tries to free his dipshit son, the aliens come, and you know a lot of good lines, maybe one liners, but there are a lot of good lines in this movie. Not bad, but still just one liners, yeah. And also. The action in this movie is spot on awesome. Awesome. And Daniel Craig, I want you to, I hope you're watching this review right now. You, sir, are a badass. A badass. I mean, every single moment in this movie, you really kick ass. I mean, you don't care what happens or how it happens. You are straight up hardcore, sir. 
And I got to... I got to give it to you, sir. And Harrison Ford, like I said, he did an awesome job in this movie. Yeah, he was he is definitely an awesome old man. No offense though. Um, but anyways. Oh yeah, and they have uh Noah Ranger from the last airbender. He was okay. I mean he's not in the directing hands of M. Night Shyamalan, thank God. But he does an okay job in this movie. Yeah. Giving emotion and all that other stuff. So there are some sort of stupid things in this movie. Now I am going to get one spoiler. The aliens are after one thing and one thing only. Gold. So yeah. That's, the, that's sort of a spoiler alert just to let you know. And also... Um, we also find out the, and uh, this may be another spoiler alert, but I'm not going to give it away. We, well, since I might as well have to, now that I, now that I just brought it up, we find out that the love interest of Daniel Craig is, in fact, an alien. Or something, I don't know. They saw a scene where we think that she's dead, then later when they throw her... The Indians, yes, there are Indians in this movie, because there have to be Indians in this movie. When the Indians throw her corpse into a fire, she, uh, risen out, she, yeah, she, she yeah, she, uh, reforms herself, and sadly, if you're hoping to see this lady make it, you might sort of get that. And the characters, some of the characters you probably might care, some of them you probably might not care, or something like that. But Daniel Craig and Harrison Ford, yeah, you probably might care about their characters the most, because they do an awesome performance. And everybody else, they do an okay performance. Well, an all right performance. I mean, it doesn't have to be all that great, but still, they do an okay performance in this movie. And, yeah. So, like I said, it's not the best movie ever, but still, I will give it some credit. It was a lot of fun seeing the Old West, seeing the aliens. And one thing I will admit about the aliens, they're not that scary. Yeah. But, hey, I enjoyed it. I think you would too. I think you will also enjoy it. So, not, not really a, not really a five star movie or a four star movie, but I will give it three and a half out of five. So, if you are looking for some action, you'll definitely get some action from this movie. If you're looking for some stuff to laugh at, then you probably might laugh. Or you probably might not laugh. But still, go see this movie. See this movie, don't see Smurfs, because you'll have a shitty day. This is The Vertical Spy, Sunny out.